Photogrammetry was first used all the way back in 1999 in the movie Fight Club. Knowing that, it is one of the earliest implementations of this technology. The realism produced in this scene was simply way ahead of its time. We also have The Matrix Reloaded from 2003, which is another iconic movie that used photogrammetry. Fast forward all the way to 2021, the horror movie Demonic was released and man did it involve advanced equipment and techniques of photogrammetry. As we can see, actors are being surrounded by a lot of cameras, in fact up to 250 cameras to be specific, and the entire environment was photographed from a real place in British Columbia. Speaking of 3D scanning, our sponsor of today's video is Polycam. This powerful app will allow you to easily perform 3D scans for anything you want. You can edit and process your scans directly on your phone and either export them to any of the numerous formatted offers or share them directly to Sketchfab for example. Polycam works on iOS and recently the long-awaited Android version is released so everyone can enjoy the power of photo scanning on any smartphone device. Furthermore, there is also a Polycam web application for people who want to use their computer for photo scanning. Polycam has two modes, photo and LiDAR mode. The LiDAR mode requires a device with a LiDAR sensor like an iPhone 12 or Galaxy S20. The photo mode on the other hand is available for all devices. The LiDAR mode also comes with a lot of extremely powerful features such as turning your scan to a top-down floor plan or extend the scan where you can literally continue the scanning where you left off to expand the scanned area. Also the ability to crop unwanted areas in the scan right from the app, just to name a few of the things it can do. The Pro version also supports the ability to export a plethora of different formats such as FBX, OBJ, DAE, GLTF and more. The photo mode while much slower and requires taking a lot of photos from different angles, it allows you to convert your photos into 3D models using photo scanning algorithms. And for photo mode, you don't need an iPhone or an iPad with LiDAR scanner. And it is great to use for scanning highly detailed objects and scenes. In the last few years, the video game industry has been an important field for photogrammetry, as it massively pushes the boundaries of production making the modeling of assets and the entire environments a secondary task because it allows for rapid mass generation, though it's worth noting that the result generated may not be up to par. I mean what you generate is not gonna be game ready right away because it produces rough meshes that require manual refinement and cleanup. But for the most part, it saves you a ton of time. The developers behind the Vanishing of Ethan Carter game revealed that the staggering environment and settings were made using photogrammetry. Star Wars Battlefield is another big title that extensively used this technology not only to capture assets and costumes but also to recreate key locations for the Star Wars fans. This video best represents the utilization of photogrammetry in combination with the powerful Unreal Engine. It just shows the great extent this technology can go. Having the ability to photo scan an entire city from France and using the entire scanned map as a level for the playable game just blows my mind. Quixel Mega Scans is another example of ultra realistic yet game optimized assets. It is a large library that hosts thousands of scanned assets and props, all within reach and at your disposal. It is worth mentioning that having an account at Epic Games grants you free access and a limited download to the entirety of Mega Scans library. Furthermore, architecture is a quite big field that heavily relies on vision, imagination, and a whole lot of blueprints. As time went by, architects started gradually shifting their perspective and point of view from 2D to 3D, allowing them to get familiar with 3D software and technologies. And photogrammetry is one that provides a ton of value. It is a very good technique for site planning in order to take measurements for accurate rendering before building. It also helps a lot in the design process, where architects use the techniques to generate quick 3D models of buildings, interiors, or any sort of structure and have absolute freedom over customization and design reshaping on the fly. Photogrammetry also can be used for multiple purposes, such as tracking construction progress and much more. Additionally, it is used to obtain accurate and reliable data for mapping purposes. And what better services best utilize this technique other than Google and Microsoft? They are leaders when it comes to aerial scanning utilizing satellites, aircraft, and drones to collect data to generate 3D maps based on height and topography information. Another thing that might surprise you is forensic photogrammetry, which is a powerful tool in forensic analysis, using USGS LiDAR shot for United States Geological Survey that provides aerial imagery and photogrammetry 
that is quite advanced in implementing the LiDAR technology, which generate assets with higher accuracy and resolution. To later download the 3D map and reset up the scenes and animate vehicles and characters based on victims, witnesses, and complaints. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.